What's up, Edgelords and Hard Eater 23 fans? So the first part of this got a lot of hate, and I wanted to go back and address some of the stuff I went over as part of a retrospective, whether that be in defense or a critique on myself. There have been a couple comments, like these are all garbage outfits, as well as some comedian saying how not to style revenge with a couple of asterisks following it. Revisiting the first video, I feel like I did a good job explaining that there are plenty of different ways to style a brand. Just because I did it one way doesn't mean that's the only way. And I also tried to show off like as many approaches as I could. It's also important to note that you know, this is just one interpretation of how to style it. You know, this isn't the only way to style it, obviously. And, um, you know, this is from my experience with fashion and my taste that um, how these things are being styled. Just because you might not like agree with how I choose to style something, you know, doesn't mean doesn't mean that I'm saying the way that you're styling it is wrong or that I don't like it. Um, but this is just, you know, from the couple pieces I do have. Another point I wanted to touch on is that these how-to style videos are meant to showcase a number of different ways to style the brand, usually in a more creative approach, because there really isn't a point in me throwing on every revenge piece I have along with a pair of black skinny jeans, though this is the easiest way to style it and also a very valid way to style it. It just isn't that creative and doesn't add much to the video or what you guys already know. Uh, and I do think this, like I said, is probably the easiest way to style it just because Revenge leans so heavily into the grunge style, though as of late they are kind of moving away from that and towards something more universal like Supreme. Now let's look at the outfits I put together last video so I can reflect on those, then after this I'll show some outfits styled in a way that might appeal more to the people who didn't like the first part. Also remember this video is from like over a year ago and I was in a much more different financial situation. I had a lot less revenge pieces and honestly style is always changing so probably look back on a lot of these and feel a lot different about them now. So the first one we have is this Hypebeast outfit. If you guys don't remember, I put like titles on them and a little breakdown of it. If you guys have not seen that first video, I will put a link to it in the description below. But as far as this outfit goes, I think it hit the mark that I was trying to achieve, you know, a Hypebeast outfit. That being said, the only critique I really have about this is the socks. I, I think the rest of the outfit works. I think the socks do go with the Hellraiser tee, but I think they're just a little bit too much. But this is a Hypebeast outfit, so you know um but to break down a little bit more i think you know obviously the hellraiser being this old horror movie definitely goes with the revenge grunge aesthetic and yeah face mask also just kind of like feeds into that especially that hype beast aesthetic so I, I still stand by this outfit in many ways uh except for the socks like i said next up we have the motion long sleeve one and i don't remember what i titled this but basically just got some skinny jeans the motion long sleeve and then I also added some leather uh, suspenders to it. And I think the suspenders are cool. Like, I, I definitely stand by this outfit. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. And like I said earlier, I was trying to do more than just wear black skinny jeans with every outfit. Though, uh, this is pretty close to that. I think the suspenders are a good way of adding just like a little bit more to the outfit. In a, in a lot of outfits, I think accessories are kind of a way to you know bridge the gap to the, the next the higher level. But get elevated a little bit, if you will, the stage of enlightenment. I think accessories are kind of a way to do that and I think I think you know this is a good outfit I stand by this outfit definitely it's more of a quiet outfit you just have the striped long sleeve and then uh, the black suspenders just you know blend in with uh, being a thinner a thinner suspender and then also black so I think they match and it fits in I think this is a good outfit I stand by this one so moving on we have the vehemence tee paired with the flannel and then some Tommy Hilfiger denim and I don't really stand by the pants in this outfit anymore you know looking back on it uh, it's fine to mesh brands like we had the hype beast outfit I think that one went together well you had revenge supreme antisocial and then the palace socks though you know I said I didn't really care for the socks anymore uh, you know I think Tommy Hilfiger and revenge are definitely two very different brands and I'm not saying it's impossible to you know blend them together I, I know of a Tommy Hilfiger denim shirt where the branding on it is very simple and small but maybe these like big spell outs don't really mesh that well together when you have the big revenge graphic on the chest so next up we have the experimental outfit which I'm wearing some wool trousers the vehemence tee and then like a white button up and I stand by this outfit this is a good outfit I think um, it fits the title you know it's experimental and it kind of you know goes against a lot of revenge stuff you know revenge like I said 
leans more towards the grunge style and this is more of like a cleaner aesthetic though a lot of people are doing this like tucked in stuff and it fits into a lot of styles now but uh, I still think this is a good outfit I, I, I feel like this uh, this works color scheme matches up and I think it looks good and I'll also say this blank fits so short like tucking it in is a very valid way to style it in my opinion just because the crop is so weird on it and yeah especially if you're taller I feel like tucking it in is a good way so yeah I, I stand by this outfit so the last outfit we have is this kind of like rocker one where I'm wearing a bandana, got the vitamins tee, and then some super tight skinny jeans. And the only problem I guess I have with this outfit is how tight those pants are. And in the original video, I did kind of say it's easier to style with skinny jeans, which I still kind of stand by. Like skinny or slim jeans are probably like an easier route to style it with rather than some relaxed fit or, you know, some baggier jeans. But um yeah i don't know maybe it's just the background in this photo like maybe if i was actually actually like at a concert and this picture was taken it'd probably look a lot better but i just look <laughs> really out of place in this picture but i don't know i still kind of stand by that outfit i guess i don't know i don't really wear those pants anymore though because personally i'm trying to move away from the skinnier jeans more into the the slim cut but yeah, still sort of stand by. I, I definitely stand by revenge mixed with bandanas. If you guys follow the channel, I wear bandanas all the time. So um, I'm, I'm a big bandana boy. So. so moving on, like I said, I put together some new outfits that might cater more towards you guys. So let's go check those out. To start things off, you want a nice pair of khakis, preferably freshly ironed by mom. And boys, the higher the flood clearance, the better. You never know how many girls you might be around. <laughs> This outfit also works out better if you found out about Revenge a week ago and if you're wearing a kill hoodie. But unfortunately, I'm just a pleb and, you know, a poser and I don't know anything. People wearing this outfit probably say things like, bro, I'm not racist, but, and I like to call this one, Daddy's Money. <laughs> Next outfit. These are the guys you see asking for kill hoodie restocks and probably end every social media post with hashtag LLJ followed by a dub emoji. They use terms like allegedly. Allegedly! Allegedly! That's ignorant! And say phrases like that's on jaw. Anyway, I call this one the martyr. <laughs> So obviously this video is more of a meme or a response to the original than it was a continuation of how to style revenge but you know that being said i hope you guys can see the comedic approach or aspect to this video uh and if you guys actually do want a how to style revenge part two then show some love to the likes and the comments and you know i can throw that together because obviously i have a lot more revenge pieces now if you guys follow the channel you've seen the unboxings and whatnot and i also have just more pieces in general that i could use to pair with new outfits but yeah other than that that's pretty much all i got for you guys today and thank you for watching it's just jokes <laughs>